So now we go to extra game. Yeah. We start the game with powered up characters. Be a cheaty boy. Except like it's intended. And the story changes. I don't remember how much. There's definitely gonna be a lot of repetition here, but also get to play as a new character and you know. Mikado, the company heading the International Space Project, announced the launch of an additional solar power generator satellite. The announcement comes as a surprise to many. So what exactly is a solar power generator satellite? Well, we've prepared some diagrams, so let's take a look. First, an Earth-based station transmits a guidance signal. Upon receiving the signal, the satellite uses a large mirror to generate electricity from solar power. Considering how bonkers this game gets so fast, it's a hell of a choice to start on the most boring exposition dump ever. This is all set up for the fact that a space laser is going to blow up a hospital later. Meanwhile, this intro stars a character where we've basically still never seen on camera, funnily enough. I know who she is. That's Damn it. They beat us to it. A little ambiguous otherwise. Meanwhile, this shot reminds me like the audio the audio and the airdrop remind me of Ghost in the Shell. But the moon shot reminds me of the fucking bound 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 It's like the uh, the eat the rich intro to Dead or Alive Four. That matching moon shot. Except that cuts to a geisha dancing around, and this one shows ninjas in a children's room that we then find out is not a child's room apparently. There's a little toy robot. I might as well just talk over this cutscene if we've already seen it in this playthrough. But we can look at this a bit. That picture was all of them standing around Dominique while she sits in a chair. Like, it's true. None of these photos feature Sion hugging her. Dominique, why are you with this man? Because he introduced himself to you once in the rain? That's your standard? Dude, this is the most homey, charming little town. Look how, now, well, now it's in Predator Vision, but a second ago, it was the most welcoming looking like street, like foot traffic area I've seen ever. I think there's parts of the world that are like this, but it's not normal for me as a Californian. It's just that's, that type of town doesn't exist. If you walk anywhere, even outside your own house, it's like immediate. Your street traffic. You have to cross a dangerous road to go anywhere. His watch says Dog Street, the thing behind him says Dog Street. It's even on the cover of the game. It's just such a non-entity. Bait bar on Dog Street. What's with the sour face? You're scaring away the customers. Sorry. Just doing my job. <laughs> yeah. We have the explicit weird weather for no cactuar jacket. So either Final Fantasy exists in this universe. Or it's in the Final Fantasy universe. And honestly, aesthetically, this entire game looks like Final Fantasy VII. Like, it fits. Maybe 8 or something, too. I haven't played 8. If you look it up, actually, uh, Sion, but especially Volt and uh, Ko are compared to designs of characters from Final Fantasy VIII. Hi, boss. Hey, 
Hey, Dominique, he's been waiting for you. Hurry up. People compare Volt with the guy with the face tattoo with the blonde hair. Less obvious comparisons than Sora and Sion, but it would be a few years before the comparison came up there because Sora didn't exist yet. You're looking busy, Ko. Hey, if we're not doing anything, it means a bar's doing just fine, right, Sion? Good morning. Hey, where were you? You're late. Well, um... Uh... Hey, Sion, when's your birthday? Birthday? Why? Sion, it's your shift. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come to think of it, it was exactly one year ago today you first came to this bar and started that giant brawl fest. Then that means today's your first anniversary as a bouncer. Here, I got this for you. The sign behind her just says a bunch of random What's letters. It? A present. I just saw that. <laughs> It's like a t it's not even a typo. It's just random letters like somebody mashed their hand on the keyboard That's the sign behind her during that conversation the Mikado special forces All right, Time to play what at least back then was usually my least favorite type of character the heavy big chunky slow boy, but honestly Maybe I've gained a respect for this kind of character over time Ow, it is messing with me that if you press a direction at the same time like this is this is what I have to my triangle then if I press direction plus triangle, he does the flip. A lot. See on help. Ugh. Like those are massively different outputs based on whether you're pressing a direction at the time. Oh, that's my planting my feet with the circle. No, it looks like directions don't change circle. Ah, I'm gonna die. You get him, guys. Don't let him kill me. Sion, you have so much health. <laughs> that was funny. If I take like one hit, I'll die. But Sion has like infinite health right now. Because the, uh, it's not just his health bar itself, his defense stat is still there. So he's like unkillable by comparison. The problem is that the AI still means that my allies are kind of idiots and they're just so non aggressive. goes down. I believe this is a fight you can lose, too. I think it's not necessarily a meant to lose fight, but if you lose, the story continues the same way. You don't actually, you don't get a game over. It's like my experience is on, is, is on, is at stake right now. If it's not a game over, that means I keep going. Ugh! See on you piece of shit. Alright, well... I got some experience. Let's get that defense up. God damn it, Sion. I think there's no real, real reason to keep saves around. It'd be easier if I just keep saving over the same one. They weren't after me. Mmm, that's revealing. The Volt thinks the ninjas are after him. We lost we lost the fight. I guess you fight I guess you lose the fight canonically either way. Why they let it that be one of the only times you can lose and the story keeps going. Pretty good title card moment. That is unreadable text, though, and it's unreadable on the cover of the game too. Basically, Andrew and I had to like Google what the text says. Who are they? They were from Mikado. Huh? You're awfully well informed. Let's go to Mikado. Whoa, hang on. I've got connections. Let me look into it first. I need you to 
to check on something for me. Yeah, I need to get into Mikado fast. Look, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, thanks. Great, what time? Gotcha, we're taking off now. Thanks, I owe you one. There's a special train at the central station that's headed for Mikado. When? In half an hour. Let's go then, we don't have much time. Looks like he's got a heart after all. Especially when it comes to her. <laughs> no kidding. Five years ago. Damn it! We've been had! I told you we shouldn't have pushed while he was away. Damn! You're right about that. V Volt? I think somebody spray painted burger on the wall. At first I thought it said Kruger. I'm like, Volt? Do you just spray paint your own name? Lucky day, punks. So we just recorded Stephanie's voice acting today. And uh, she immediately noticed Ko's voice actor because she's a fan of that. And uh, yeah, she was right. It's, uh, it's Steve Bloom, the voice actor of Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. Once again, making me wonder who the hell voice acted Sion? I, I could have checked, I guess, but I didn't. Because <laughs> Sion is so bad. Why are the why is the protagonist often the especially bad one in a lot of games? Like Ko, one of my like childhood favorite characters in a video game, is voice acted by like a character who played like a legendary anime character at this point. What's what's Sion's problem? <laughs> It's a ballsy move having that headbutt. It like never lands, unfortunately. <laughs> Cause he's even got horns! I feel like that's dangerous to you. Like the horns are gonna penetrate your skull or something. On the inside, like rec recursively back at me or some shit. Can I undo that? I oh, hit what? Yeah, you hit triangle. Yeah, I know that you can loot. I'm just gonna save all the time. What are Mikado special forces doing here? I was doing a test recording and I died in the first level. What is it? Huh? You recognize that Black Panther? No. Let's get going. We're gonna miss the train. Yeah. Five years ago. <gasps> ah! Giving up already? Impressive. Most impressive. Huh? You just tore up one of my best men like a dog on a rag doll. How about you pull a job for me? Why should I? I need someone erased. In exchange for your service, I'll keep my hands off your turf. Hmm. What's wrong? Ran a cops. Security is tight, as expected. <sighs> We're running out of time. And I guess we'll break through the front. Hey! What are you doing there? Oh, like you let us through if we tell you? Like, Volt seems about right. Not like knocking out of the park necessarily, but you're like, Oh yeah, that sound, those, those, those lines sound about right. I'm not gonna like... It's not distracting. What is Sion's deal? 
God, Volt has such great reach. He's actually really great for this. For just destroying these dudes without getting them a chance to hit back. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Ko turns out to be the hardest character to play as, but it's not, it might be Sion. Sion kind of blows. Ko, Ko and Volt both have better reach, I think. Pretty nice. Dude, the first move is so expensive. I wish this was a faster process, considering how long the actual levels are. Oh well. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, me too. So save faster. I think that's it. Not again. I didn't expect such a warm reception. Shouldn't the train be departing soon? Uh-huh. It ought to be. We'll time it so that we jump on the train just as it starts to take off. When you hear the whistle, start booking for the train. Don't miss your cue. Who do you think you're talking to? You're gonna need more than that to stop me. Let's a go. It occurs to me. Ko called someone on the phone, and that's how he knows about this train. Then presumably the same person blows up the train. <laughs> I... <laughs> just really a dick move, isn't it? <laughs> like, that, that, that's, that seems to be the correct interpretation of these events, is that Ko has connections, He's clearly up to some shit. And the person he calls to find out about this phone, this train in the first place, then tries to blow him up on said train. I don't think we can trust that person. Some of these other levels are pretty e or easy. I can probably not save every time. kind of incredible this game isn't co-op. I just, I must just, like, mix it up in my head with Fighting Force. Five years ago. It, it's impossible. We can't stop him. Cease your attacks. He's far more than any of us can handle. M Master Makaido. It appear he has some business to settle with me. Stay in the car, sir. It's too dangerous out here. It won't make any difference whether I'm in the car or not. You... aren't afraid? We made it. Somehow. Looks like we're on a tanker car. This thing's probably carrying rocket fuel for that shuttle launch everyone's been talking about. You think Dominique's on this train? The Special Forces are the ones who kidnapped her. Dominique's at Mikado by now. Oh really? You seem to know a lot about this, Volt. They know we're here? After that mess we made back there, yes. We may have intruders in the last car. Investigate it once. Remember, no guns. Transporting rocket fuel. You got that, Echidna? Roger. We've got company. They're stowaways. Make sure you give them an appropriate welcome. Oh man! We're gonna freeze out here! Is there any way to get in? Guess there's no point in hiding. How convenient. I was looking to get warmed up. Hmm. <laughs> he has one-liners, guys. Look at him go. <sighs> his ability to multi-target. Oh, his ability to multi-target is so good. He's disgusting. 
Yeah, not exactly a game where you combo people. You pretty much just like blast them with a big hit over and over again. God, I... Ah, Sion had to get special abilities to feel this strong. Volt's normal attacks already feel like special abilities. I don't, I don't have any special moves unlocked. Uh, there's nothing nothing to do by holding down left, left uh, L1. Dude, they're getting destroyed. How expensive these are. Too much? Why are they so expensive? Hey, you get an F for go fuck yourself. The fact that you start lower than F is remarkable in this game. Who hired you if you're less than an F? If you don't have a ticket, you're gonna have to pay. And this ride ain't cheap. Where did you take Dominique? So nice to see you again, Echidna. Is that you, Volt? I thought I finished him off. Indeed. But I'm not the Volt you once knew. Now it's your turn to take a trip to hell. This time, I'll make sure I finish you off, along with your friends. Volt's really dedicated to this resurrected demon aesthetic. And, uh... Honestly, <laughs> I just genuinely love that line. Uh, if you don't have a ticket, you're gonna have to pay. And this ride ain't cheap. Hey, come get some, Echidna. Echidna's dialogue tends to be bad, but that's a nice line. Sup? <laughs> this is gonna be such an easier playthrough. It's just... It's just... Uh, Sion sucks. He's kind of a shitty character, but he's just like his moves are like too weirdly niche with bad reach and bad knockback and You're just, just a tiny tiny per Whoa. He never does the ho ha. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Must be te ya ho ha. It's Cause that's just how obnoxiously long that combo is. It's like there's several more hits. Never does them though. Ugh. I'm in trouble though. This isn't great. <laughs> Stop it! Oh god. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, Echidna has those giant flailing moves. Hey, she did all four of them. I oh! Game over. What even hit me there? That was confusing. Echidna! The See this? Bouncer. I immediately regret not saving that one time. If you don't have a ticket, you're gonna have to pay. Then and this ride so ain't Echidna. cheap. He has a very short jacket. Dead butt. <laughs> God, she's such a nightmare. No! No! Look at the damage we've taken! It can go bad so fast in this game. Oh, thank god, one of them's down. Okay. You, me, Sion, let's do this. Hit him, at, hit, hit her ever, please. Just ever. That'd be great. Try to get behind her. There we go. Can only block one of these directions. Oh god. Oop. Nope. Beyond. Beyond. <laughs> the ragdolls are so funny. <laughs> great. Oh god, I, I dodged it, technically. <laughs> See, on help. <laughs> Weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> it's 
It's so silly. The big leap. Go all in for now. I do want more attack, but I also like the idea of spending more of the points instead of having an awkward number of hundreds left over. Chunkier intervals. What's the matter, Echidna? I'm still standing. You're still a jerk, Volt. It's not over yet. I'll teach you a thing or two about a woman's wrath the next time we meet. Volt, what happened between you two? I think we'll save story time for later. slams into the station, we're all going to be a lot warmer. Let's detach the last car. The coupler's locked with a card key. And where are we going to get this car key? It's probably in the engineer's cab. But the car goes in the way. Then we better find one in this car. Hey, what if we don't find one? We're toast. She's clearly unsuccessful. Because the rocket takes off and we're on it later. So to show that I, I'm pretty sure this is RNG, let's open the one first that I did last, last time. Wait, is there really a key card? No, it's the bottom of it just looks like a key card. Is that always the last one you open? Is there one towards the screen over here? Oh. I don't know if that even counts as one or not. You actually don't have that much time. I got really lucky last time. Yeah, the fact that we were running from shutters last time didn't make as much sense as it should. Oh man, please let this be a bad dream. Jumping off as soon as we reach the station. It's worse! <laughs> Last time it exploded, but the entire side of the area didn't fall like 20 feet like it did just now. <laughs> I don't know how we lived through that. It's not over yet. Seawater's rushing in from the explosion. Hurry. Five years ago. Have you ever thought about working for me? I've come here to kill you. And thanks to that, I was able to meet you. Don't worry, I'll have a word with that organization. Who... are you? 